wasn't too bad, was it, Togo? There was a time this path was guarded day and night by Lord Kupka's men. But now they've gone. Back to the Fang. Leaving us lesser mortals at the mercy of whatever bloodthirsty beasts they say nested beyond. There was a time this path was guarded day and night by Lord Kupka's men. But now they've gone. Back to the Fang. Let's <laughs> go. 
this must have been a fishing village. Before everyone left. I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. If you're ready, leave at once.
Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. You're always welcome here in Lost Wing. Children, the reckoning is... You are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. The pieces we need are in the ruins, just over there, as is a terrifying monster. The pieces we need are in the ruins, just over there. As is a terrifying monster. Anybody home? <laughs> this must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. Things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way.
Your work is done, Sid. We'll take care of the rest. Let Mid know she'll have her helm very soon, would you? Your work is done, Sid. We'll take If I don't come up with something soon. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right, the shielding. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him, see what he makes of it? Right away. I've been going round in circles trying to find something sturdy enough to withstand the fire of the engines, but light enough not to sink the ship. Should have bothered old Tome sooner. If anyone knows something I don't, it'll be him. I've been going round in circles trying to find something sturdy enough. When it comes to boyish charm, Goops has an indomitable vibe. You mean the Iron Kingdom? expecting you back so soon. Here's everything we've received and everything promised. Here you are. All done? Fancy a look at the list, do you? Here you go. Always something in there. Ain't so bad stretching your legs once in a while. Should do it more often. Are you still running round after mid? Oh, you poor bastard. Are you still running round after mid? Hugo Kupka's dead, isn't he? It's good to have you back. Oh, her ship lies still in... And what can I do for you? It's rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Got out else? 
I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? You'll not find a better price than that. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered I'm either way. What can I get you, Sid? Oh, keep your mug handy. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game... Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. Shielding that guards against even the most ferocious flames. We could have done with some of that on Drustinus. I doubt I would have survived that place with or without it. A trip to Northreach, though, I think either of us could handle. Shielding that guards... So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? Take your time. It doesn't do to rush such things. So, Clive, who will accompany... 
Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. Is there something I might assist you with, Clive? I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Did you learn everything you needed? Good luck in Northreach. Try not to get too distracted from the task at hand. Good luck in Northreach. Try not to get too distracted from the task. Sit. The man who... Here's what you told Nan about Kupka. Clive. What's saying for you, dear? Not bad, if I do say so myself. He cracked the crystal too. You joking? Hugo Cook is dead, isn't he? We're seeing troops amassing at every. Are you still running round after mid? Oh, you poor bastard. can I do for you? An excellent choice. I doubt you'll get more than that in the capital. The best I can do. Mm. 
You've a keen eye. An excellent choice. Come back again. Keep them pilchers nice and chilled. Are those pepio nuts? I can never tell. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. They sell everything here at the market. Finding garlic and pepio nuts won't take long. They sell everything here at the market. Finding garlic and pepio nuts. Find a bruised pippin in the Fresh cuts. Come and get them before they go. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. I trust it's all here. You're always welcome here in Lostwing. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. How the hell is anyone supposed to afford that the glass that gate flood has finally spread to the world? Buy, sell, or be gone. <laughs> That's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. All anyone ever wants anymore is a woman great. How am I supposed to make a living? Did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics. Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just. Oh. You're right. <laughs> Sorry. It's just. Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Clive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive.
Well, I suppose we better be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. Clive, Harpocrates has all the ingredients. We were just waiting for you. Ah, Clive. How's work on the shielding progressing, Harpocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive, thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being with you. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon do are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. then. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it? In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat, a coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dars. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way! Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabin. <laughs>
is finished. Is finally finished. Thank fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines, and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? What's the matter? Nothing. Just... daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the Blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Mid told me she was building a ship. It was good of you to help Mid, and it made a nice change for me as well. It was good of you to help Mid. Just the man to help me out of a bit of bother, if you've a mind to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the Chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. 
Hmm. Okay. I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right. Why not? Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get hold of some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you would have mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hunt board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand... All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? to find a supplier for this stuff, but it's rare as Chocobo's teeth. Either someone brings down a Bond King and picks up the ash, or... I don't know. We wait for one to snuff it of old age. I've tried to find a supplier for this stuff, but it's rare as Chocobo's teeth. When it comes to boyish charm, this has me. Clive, Astrid, we'd finished sending half the hideaway tropes in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl'd do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She did, yes. Clive, were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Is that you done then? Mid's not roped you into building the rest of the board, has she? Is that you done then? Mid's not roped you into building the rest of it. Told me she was building a ship. Is that the thing Tom's helped to build? Hugo Cook is dead, isn't he? I don't have to live in fear of him anymore. Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What tidings, Uncle?
troubling Kamva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Med. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kukur is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. 
We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you, but we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Goods. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader, assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them? Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet you there. See you down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? You see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. We need to find a way into Drake's tail. And we will. Together, this time. We need to find a way into Drake's tail. Hugo Cook is dead, isn't it? The Enterprise will have four Mithril engines, each needing its own displacement stack. So just three more like this, and we'll be finished. <laughs> the Enterprise will have Four mithril engines, each needing its own displacement stack. Ah, oh, I wasn't expecting you back. All in good time, eh? Best of luck out there, Sid. Clive! Anything catch your eye? Think you can help? In case you've forgotten, twin sides under sea. So don't be surprised if they're picky about who they let in. In case you've forgotten, twin sides on the sea. So don't be surprised if they're picky. It was good of you to help Ned. And it made a mess. Shall ever wish and find a seed of it. Have 
got a few more things to pack before I leave. I'll meet yous down in Bucklad. I've got a few more things to pack before I leave. I'll meet yous down. And what can I do for you? Go on then. Finished, are you? He cracked the crystal too. You joking? Hopefully it's nothing, but I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. What could be wrong with Torgor? He's seen well enough when I last saw him. Trouble with the ledgers? Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? <laughs> <laughs> 